Today I will be demonstrating the ISCO collisions kit. These carts and dynamics track are an ideal way to introduce students to concepts of conservation of momentum and kinetic energy in elastic and inelastic collisions. The best way to perform this experiment is to utilize photogate sensors to measure the time it takes each cart to pass through the gate, allowing us to calculate the velocity of the carts before and after the collision. Placing a photogate here allows us to record the velocity of the first cart as of just before the collision and a second photogate down the track will measure the velocity of the second cart after the collision. Now we want the cart to travel with constant velocity, not with a constant acceleration or force. So we will give the first cart a good push from this side of the track. It travels through the first photogate, collides and transfers its kinetic energy to the second cart. The second cart passes through the other photogate, measuring the velocity after the collision. For carts of equal mass, the velocity should be nearly the same, as linear momentum is a conserved quantity. Some energy will be lost in the collision, as the collision is not 100% elastic due to deformation of the bands, the sound of the collision, etc. Now the orientation of the carts can be reversed, and this experiment can be repeated for inelastic collisions with the velcro sides of the cart. The carts stick and the second velocity is measured here. Thank you for your inquiry into the ISCO collisions kit.